Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Airsoft Dude 1 production. Today I'm going to be going over my new, or newer, because I got this in March for my birthday, newer um, Desert Warrior, WE Desert Warrior 4.3 1911. Um, so. Start off, it comes with a black MEU mag. This is a silver one. It comes with a black one like this, only it has the big base plate like that. This is different. Um, so, yeah, because this one slides in easier. This one actually came with this 1911. But, okay, so put that back in. Um, here's your sling mount for a thing like this, which is your sling, a bungee sling. This just goes in through there and you loop it back through. Uh, pretty simple. Coming up it has a metal lower frame and a metal upper frame, slide, um, slide frame, metal trigger, metal uh, rail, which you can remove by removing these two screws on the inside of it. Um, this is a plastic, it's not rubber, but it's texturized and it feels really nice. Uh, grip, metal, uh, magazine release, bolt catch is metal, or slide catch, sorry, and metal safety, metal hammer, which can be cocked to half cock, which you cannot fire, but, okay, so you cock it, and then you put it to half cock by just holding it and releasing the trigger until it goes halfway. That's why it's called half cock, right? So you cannot fire, but it's in your holster, and this is how I do it. When I draw, I just go up and I can fire like that. If I had to fire from the hip, because like that, it's easier to go off in your holster because safeties fail, whatever. I don't use this safety. Um, so another thing is I took this off because it doesn't go in my holster because I have a hard holster. It's not a, a Serpa or Blackhawk, but it it goes in there with this, but it is hard to. So yeah, um, it, this does have a longer barrel in it, a barrel that would go in a normal 1911 like this. But I put it in here because I did use this more, but now I'm using this more. So, I don't know. So, back to this. Um, it has nice sights. As you can see there, my hands are a little shaky, but you can see it. So, that's that. Um, two screws, if you want to remove these, you undo those. Like, if I wanted to put these rubber grips on there, that's how I'd do it. And I might actually do that, but I don't know. This has so many safeties on it, it's not really even, it, it's so, I like it like that. Because, like, if you push back on the barrel, you cannot, okay, so it's cocked, right? You can, right? But if you push it back, like, if you push this, the slide back, it won't fire. It'll go into half cock, see? Um, so... You have to have your thumb on there, like when you're gripping it, your thumb goes on there because it will not fire like that. Okay, like on a normal 1911, if you push back on this, it'll put it in the half cock, see? But um, this one doesn't do that because it has this on the bottom, so if you put your hand on it, it's still gonna fire so don't like put it up to your friend or someone and be like okay I'm gonna shoot you and think it's not gonna go off it will go off if you have gas in there um, because I've heard of people doing that so then you've got your obvious mechanical safety which is ambidextrous it doesn't click on this side it clicks on this side but it's a little stiff that's why I use half cock which is obviously ambidextrous because it's on the back of the gun. That's another safety. Um, on the ejector port, it says 45 ACP. And ACP stands for uh, automatic Colt pistol. Obviously, this is not automatic. 
automatic as in bang bang it just keeps on going right if you keep on pulling the trigger one time equals one shot semi-automatic so the mag drops out really easily unless you have a stiff mag like this one then you might need to file it down so it'll fit in there um, so yeah this is texturized so this right here it almost feels like a rubber this is also texturized that doesn't feel as much like rubber but this is comfortable because it's spring loaded um, so opening an ejector port you can see the magazine if you put the magazine in and um, and so I like it like that just because I can see okay I have one round left um, or I don't have any rounds left yeah so it's got a flat top which is different from the normal 1911 because it's rounded okay so now I'm going to take it apart to take it apart slide it back to that little tiny notch is right there push it out with your other finger normally it'll fall out but there you just pull it out and this is your bolt catch this does not hurt it to take it apart but one thing you have to take the magazine out okay then you what I do is I hit it with the magazine or I hit it with my fist to, to knock it out there you pull it out this is your firing assembly pretty much so there's your recoil spring and your spring guide to do that you pull this little o-ring up and you pull that to the side then here's your barrel hop up outer barrel inner barrel all that so you just slide that out okay I'm gonna tell you what you need to lube here and on the whole gun you need to lube your barrel every time I go to a game I put a a wet cloth through there that has silicone on it or barrel cleaner then here's your hop up this little wheel I normally turn my hop up off um, just so it has more power and people actually feel it if you want to take the barrel out to put a new one in remove that screw this little block will fall off and then you can just pull that out uh, you're gonna want to put lube in between the outer barrel and the inner barrel in there where it slides so it slides easier for less friction everything the more lube you put on there the more gas you're gonna save being that this isn't a Tokyo Marui uh, it's not plastic so it burns through gas pretty good but not as much as a normal 1911 because the slide is smaller and lighter weight not by much though uh, to me that's about three centimeters it looks sm uh, smaller in the video but it's about three centimeters um, so right there you're gonna want to pull your gas block back and lube up your o-ring lube up all of this in there yet again to save gas to be more efficient all that you're gonna want to lube your rails here your rails here I'm not gonna tell you how to take apart your gas block because that gets really complicated I know how to but I wouldn't suggest doing it unless you've done it before so here are your little tiny holes for these little tiny screws where you yeah there we go uh, where you screw on your rail mount it comes with the rail mount on there all you need is a little tiny Phillips head but what I would suggest you do is put some take the screws out and put some Loctite in there and then screw them on and so then I'm going to reassemble it which you just put the barrel in first which sometimes can be a little hard there you go um, slide that in there's this little that part touches the outer barrel what you want to do is kind of do 
this kind of a thing. This is kind of hard to do on camera. So you kind of want to hold it like a syringe. And it kind of just falls into place. There's the outer assembly. And it just slides on like that. Another idea is it doesn't go on as easily. You have to knock it back. To do that, you just hit it with a, uh, the back of your magazine a couple times. But now I'm going to show you how WE 1911s are interchangeable. That one comes apart a whole lot easier. There's a tan and black with a or a uh, multicolor black oil frame SOCOM gear WE1911 and see this is the recoil system of the normal 1911 which like I said you'll have to knock onto this frame this is a weird system and there or you could just hit the barrel with your hand sorry about that and now you've got two 1911s they both work that sounds clean That doesn't as much, but, you know, I mean, if you want the, the tan look with this, or you want the black look with this, it, it works nicely. You can buy the different frames separately. I'm actually thinking about getting a new frame for the black, or a slide for the black one, um, to be more efficient, and it has, a uh, cooler, uh, vents on the sides instead of these grips it has vents along the side so it's a pretty cool so I'm gonna think about getting that and if you haven't seen this as the Marine Corps we'll go on it um, so that's what I do if I want it to look really cool and uh, at some fields they won't let you dual wield um, but I like dual wielding with these it's really fun um, Okay, so this is another Airsoft Dude 1 production. I'm out.